Have you ever wondered what would happen to your body if you did suitcase carries for 30 days? This exercise has the opportunity to build a substantial amount of muscle, but it also has many other benefits that you might not expect. We'll be going over these benefits and the common mistakes we see happening all the time later on in this video, so stick around. First, let's talk about how it improves core strength and stability. The suitcase carry involves an asymmetrical load. That means you're carrying all the weight on one side instead of evenly spreading it across both. Your body has to work to keep itself from leaning while carrying the uneven load, which automatically engages your core. That makes it a unilateral exercise, and you might be surprised at the valuable benefits this kind of exercise adds. But more on that coming up. The suitcase carry challenges the core muscles all around each side of your body. That includes your abs and obliques, which run up and down each side of the classic six-pack abs to stabilize your body as you move. It also works your spinal erectors, muscles deep in your back that straighten and rotate your spine. This will help you improve your core strength and endurance, leading to better overall stability and enhanced performance in sports and daily activities. I'll even show you how to increase the lower body challenge of this exercise with a piece of equipment you might not expect. You'll also be training lots of smaller, often unworked muscles with this exercise. Here's a pop quiz. When's the last time you worked out your hands and forearms for better grip strength? Grip strength is crucial for everything from shrugs to pull-ups, and suitcase carries help improve this skill. So, you can see how this one exercise can boost your overall fitness performance. The longer you do suitcase carries, the stronger you'll make your hands and fingers, and the more work you can put into other exercises to strengthen your shoulders, back, and legs. Speaking of shoulder strength, the suitcase carry is a great exercise for increasing the strength and stability of your shoulder muscles, including the rotator cuff and scalpel stabilizers, a group of muscles that work together to provide all of your shoulders range of motion. These muscles are often underworked, and strengthening them can improve overall shoulder health and reduce the risk of injuries, especially during activities that involve overhead movements or heavy lifting. Now, we all know how bad the posture crisis is in the world right now. You're probably slouched over right now at your computer watching this video. But this exercise offers postural benefits that will fix that damage that was done to your body over the years. Here's how. While doing the suitcase carry, it's vital that you maintain good posture. Keeping your back straight and neutral, shoulders steady, and body upright while carrying a weight in one hand can promote better posture in all situations. And prioritizing good posture can help alleviate and prevent back pain and improve spinal alignment. This exercise is motivating because you can easily see how it'll benefit you in everyday life. Think of the weight in your hand as a suitcase, as the name implies, and imagine yourself lugging it around the airport. Or imagine yourself carrying a heavy grocery bag, a briefcase, a tool case, a golf bag. You'll build functional strength, the kind of strength you can use every minute of every day to walk, climb stairs, carry a laundry basket, lift a child, and more. Every time you do the suitcase carry, you're making these activities a little easier. So, the next time someone asks you to help them carry the groceries from the car, you'll be ready. And if you're at a more advanced skill level, you can increase the challenge by using a treadmill and slightly increasing the incline. Keep the weight light and use this variation to work your legs harder while you maintain the same good upper body form. I'll be showing you the way suitcase carries can greatly increase your muscle mass. But first, I have to let you know one of my favorite things this exercise has to offer, and it's how it will affect your balance and coordination. Isolating one side of your body at a time will help with this. By challenging your muscles, from your shoulders down your spine to your core and legs to keep your body balanced and steady, you'll train them to work together better to maintain good form and posture. The suitcase carry is going to contribute to strong legs, six-pack abs, and a stable, sturdy lower back. Two key areas you'll strengthen are your shoulders, specifically the traps, and forearms. That's right, while you'll see lots of people doing shrugs and overhead presses, both of which are great exercises for the trapezius muscles, the suitcase carry is an underused exercise to build those shoulders of steel. By carrying the weight at your side, you're engaging your shoulder stabilizers in a way that many other exercises simply can't match. If you're getting value from this video so far, be sure to smash that like button below. Now, let's explore the major benefit I mentioned earlier, unilateral training. When you're training muscles, the goal is to develop both sides of your body evenly, but, all too often, people exercising end up favoring one side of their body more than the other. Meanwhile, recovering from an injury can also contribute to an imbalance, as you might unconsciously favor the uninjured side. Even experienced weightlifters deal with muscle imbalances. 
An imbalance can lead to poor form and increase the risk of injury or re-injury. So, how can you prevent or treat this issue? The suitcase carry is a fantastic way to correct imbalances between the sides of your body by training one side at a time. Doing this exercise will show you fairly quickly which is your dominant side. However, it'll also reveal other imbalances, such as a weakness in one shoulder or leg. Because it works one side at a time, you can iron out muscle imbalances between your shoulders, core muscles, hips, abs, or hands and forearms. This will directly improve your performance when doing overhead presses, shrugs, and other shoulder exercises. There is a very important common mistake that, when avoided, can get you the results you want at twice as fast. But first, let's go over the correct way to perform the suitcase carry. You can perform the exercise almost anywhere, and you can use many objects as weights, from standard dumbbells and kettlebells, to sandbags, bags of books, jugs of water, or yes, suitcases. Let's go step by step through how to do the suitcase carry exercise. First, get a good grip on the weight, and hold the weight at your side. Start with the weight in your non-dominant hand so that you have the most energy left to power through those more difficult reps. That way, you'll ensure that you're correcting an imbalance, not worsening it. Speaking of balance, make sure you're stable and have a good posture so that you can keep your balance as the weight pulls you to one side. Good posture involves a stable core, even shoulders and a neutral spine, which means your back isn't arched or flexed more than the natural curve in your lower back. You also want to keep your head straight and feet forward. Once you're confident in your posture, start walking forward slowly, stepping heel to toe. Keep your upper body as still as you can so you stay in the correct posture. Do this for 30 to 60 seconds at a time, then switch sides and repeat. Now that you have the basics down, let's make sure you avoid the most common mistakes that people make when doing suitcase carries. But really quick, if you made it this far into the video, drop us a comment down below telling us how long you've been subscribed to the channel for. First, as you're walking with the weight, keep your upper body still. Avoid moving or twisting your neck, shoulders, or chest. The key is to keep everything in a strong, stable position with good posture and a steady pace. A lot of people can get lazy with the exercise and just go through the motions. You want to be intentional with the exercise. Make sure you're not leaning to one side, as this can also strain your back and make the exercise less effective. Also, avoid internal shoulder rotation. In other words, don't let your shoulders slump forward, even as you start to get tired. Keep your shoulders down and back, your back straight and your face forward. You want to aim for a slow, consistent pace and take slow strides when walking. A lot of people walk really fast and rush through the exercise. However, when you take slow strides, your core muscles work even harder to keep you upright which leads to faster muscle growth. Think about each step as you walk heel to toe. This is the mistake that I was talking about when I said avoiding it can get you results twice as fast. Slow and steady wins the race for gains. Another common mistake is using too much weight. I get it, you feel embarrassed or even discouraged carrying a small dumbbell around. But this exercise requires all of your muscles to work together, so it's vital that you start with a weight that's manageable. Later, you can progressively overload, meaning you add weight as you get stronger. But to start, choose a weight that you're able to carry for 30 seconds at a time with just a slight challenge. When you're confident in your form, try a heavier weight. It might be frustrating if you notice a significant imbalance between one side of your body and the other, but don't rush the process. You don't use different weights for different hands. It takes time to strengthen muscles, but by being consistent with a manageable weight, you'll correct any imbalance and keep building muscle. You're probably asking yourself, how many times and how long should I do this exercise for? When you start doing the suitcase carry, aim for 2-3 to three sets per week. Each set will consist of one carry in each hand, so you should aim for 2-3 to three carries with each hand every week, or 4-6 to six carries total. Try to carry the weight for 30-60 to 60 seconds on each side. For more of a challenge, you can increase the length while keeping the same weight. I encourage you to share this video with a friend and challenge each other to get fit together.